Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. When I went to the farm permission, I brought three guns. One of them was my Philippine bullpup. And the other two, this is the other two right here, one of the other two, the ATI Nova Liberty in 177. Let me give you some specs about this particular gun. It's 43 inches long, weighs 6.9 pounds. I haven't taken a weight with the scope, so let's do that now. Nine point six pounds. Scope. Unscope six point nine. There you have. Okay. Here are the features of this gun. It's made in China. Side lever cocking. You have the safety, which the knob on the safety is shaped like a pellet. Two-stage adjustable trigger. Synthetic stock. Rubber butt pad. It's got that stippling forearm. And in this area here. But when I got the gun, in white bold letters, it said Nova Liberty. I believe that's what it said Nova Liberty. Or Vista Liberty. Anyways, Nova Liberty is what it said Nova Liberty in white letters. So I, took, I immediately took a marker. And I, I just, black print marker, and I just painted it all black. That's, it should, you know, remain black. I mean, that was kind of tacky, if you ask me, to have it in white letters. Manometer on the end, Phil Pro goes in there, fill it to 300 bar. It did have some iron or sights. I removed those. Front post, rear post back here. I removed that because I knew it was going to scope it. Scope is a BSA 832-44. Side focus does have a power wheel. High and low. I always leave it on low. And another modification I did to the gun was on the rear rear part of the action and through the stock, I hollowed this out and made my own hammer spring adjustment screw. It makes it a lot easier instead of taking the screw out or taking the stock off to get to the screw. I just went ahead and made my own, you know, hammer spring adjuster, adjusting screw. Now, over here are some aftermarket accessories. It does not come with uh, the magazine holder here. It comes with two mags and a single shot tray. The mag holder is made by a guy, his username is on uh, Airgun Nation and GTA, uh, Pappy Osh. He's making me some other uh, aftermarket accessories for the, the new Hot Sun Flash Pup, as well as the AT44. And he's in the process of uh, finishing that project up. And as soon as I get that in the mail, 
Then I'm gonna revisit the AT44 with the aftermarket accessories that he makes, as well as the Hotson Flash Pup magazine holders and you know stuff like that. But anyways, this gun, I, I really like shooting the gun. It's uh in my opinion, it's light. It's it cocks very smooth. The only uh thing I didn't like about the gun is it came shrouded but no baffles so I had to go on eBay and order the baffles which are basically almost identical to the Marauder but these take the bigger style and I put that in there and it quieted the gun down considerably. This does have a regulator magazines they're hit and miss and mine well I didn't get very good magazines so I end up having to uh, order some Marauder 10 round magazine because that's what comes with it it's, it's, a, it's a Marauder style as you see here let me pull one out looks just like a Marauder magazine I end up getting the Marauder, Benjamin Marauder magazines. And they work a lot better because it was hard to push the bolt forward because the magazine design was not very good. Gun is made in China. Uh, other than that, let's uh, give it a trigger test. One pound, 13 ounces. I adjusted it to one pound, 13 ounces. And that's where I'm gonna leave it at. So the trigger, like I said, is fully adjustable. Now, when I ran it over the crony, I use 10 point 6.5 Barracudas, H&M Barracudas, average was 9.63, the way it came out of the box before I adjusted the hammer spring to where I, I liked it. Extreme spread, 14, standard deviation of four. And that was, you know, new, like with a couple hundred rounds through it, so regular wasn't even broken in, but that's still good. Gun came out 2018. I decided to buy it because it was uh, $299 and then you got the shipping. So for less than uh, $320, you got yourself a, a gun that's fully regulated with a power adjuster. Now granted, you can get the Umarex gauntlet, same price range, more shots. Well, I get a ton of shots out of this. Like I get six magazines easy out of this at the par level that I have it adjusted to. And that's plenty of shots. But I just didn't uh, really like the, the gauntlet. That's the reason why I don't have one is because the, the next gun that, that I'm going to be reviewing, you'll understand why, but this was uh, one of the guns, like I said, that I use at the farming uh, permission. And it was a lot of fun to shoot. First time, this gun is first time for first blood drawn. So that's my review. You get to watch the, my videos, uh, the footage I took with this gun right after I, I close this out, you get to check out the videos. And for those that wanna watch it, you can, and those that don't, I understand. Until the next episode 
of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. Shoot straight and may your pellet hit the target. Yeah. QB79 HPA converted 2 2. First blood. Okay, yeah. I kept, I kept referring to him as a him, but he didn't like that. His name is Bruce. And I kept calling him a him. Another one down. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. I know. Sixty-seven yards. We'll go one. Oh, looks like I got some feathers, but didn't quite get take them down. Let's see if I can nail them. Oh, missed. I do miss, folks.